Walking around Central Park gives us a reprieve from Woodbury's cold winters. It gives us a way to connect with nature when Mother Nature gives us a polite push indoors. We look at the waterfalls, plants, and trees and take for granted what park creators designed 12 years ago. McCarran's design of St. Paul created this indoor oasis and continues keeping Central Park looking great. Designers planned every detail. Every flower, tree, and plant was meticulously placed as designers looked at the flow of the park. Allowing park patrons to feel the beauty of Minnesota's outdoor landscapes while being inside is what the landscape designers strive for. Our theme here was to be very indigenous to the St. Croix River Valley. The rock formations are based on the basalt rock up at Taylor's Falls. Limestone walls were typical limestone found in this neighborhood. That was really the impetus for our design, is to make people feel nature indoors, the same kind of nature they would feel outside. Bringing Minnesota's nature indoors can be a difficult thing to do, which is why designers had to look south to create a feel of the north. The majority of the plants at Central Park were grown in Florida to ensure that they could sustain warm weather all year round. Norfolk Island pines were used to represent the northern pines, while olive trees symbolize the paper birch and the other plants fill in the understory. Getting the trees to Central Park was also a major undertaking. Seven semi-trailers transported these trees across the country, and upon their arrival they were unloaded and planted. Well, the toughest part is why they've laid it flat in that semi for a couple of days coming up from Florida they kind of lose their shape. So when you go to stand them up, they don't always want to stand up. So the real trick is to get them to stand straight, get them positioned the way you want to have the best appearance that you can have. To keep these trees looking their best, McCarran employees provide routine care for all the plants inside the park. Well, we have somebody that comes into the park every week to water the plant material. Uh, all of the park is hand watered so that we can actually look at the plants and see if they need water in the soil and see if it needs watering. And we also have a team that comes in in the middle of the night here and actually clean and spray and wash off the plants. Taking care of Central Park symbolizes the strong relationship between McCarran's and the city. The landscapes really create a gathering place for many different agencies and groups that use the facility. Even though park designers have won several awards, they know that it's the experience of park users that matter most. I think when you sit and watch people in the park, move through the park, look at things, enjoy the park, people sitting here reading a book and enjoying the space, that's just joyful to see that. And I think the results have been well received by the city and it's given the city something to be very proud of here.